I'm glad I can share some thoughts with you today as a, a devotional. We're in a special place on our church property. I'm out at our prayer garden. Last Sunday, I shared with you about the importance of having a spot to pray, and I thought I'd uh, share with you about a spot that we have here on our, our campus where you can come to pray uh, from uh, sunup uh, to uh, uh, sundown. It's a spot that's uh, uh, right behind the baseball field, behind the Garden of Memories, uh, behind the community center, uh, and it's a quiet spot uh, where you um, can be able to uh, sit and uh, read scripture and uh, commune with the Lord. Prayer is so very important. It's so important that we take time to pray. It's not a metaphysical exercise. It's not a means uh, specifically of uh, uh, getting our hearts to calm down, nor is it about uh, just being able to think clearly or think positive things. Prayer is about communing with the living God, and he's here with us when we come to him in prayer. For if we draw near to him, as James 4, 7 says, he will draw near to us. Let me show you around this prayer garden, and perhaps it'll give you some ideas about how you can pray. I'm seated here at a bench, but uh, let me stand up and just show you uh, this garden. Isn't it a nice spot? Um, looking out on uh, the field, looking out on the Garden of Memories, uh, looking to uh, the church. It's a great spot to be quiet uh, before the Lord. Now some from the church have put this together and they've also provided for us several uh, scripture texts that they've placed or uh, written on stone. I don't know if you can see this one all the way, but it's from Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Well, that's a great text to think about when we pray. Trusting in God, leaning not on our own, on our own understanding, and then uh, looking to him as he will direct our paths. And in this prayer garden, there are about uh, five or six uh, uh, stones with uh, uh, prayer texts written upon them that perhaps might uh, encourage you or spark you to pray in a particular way. If you can't come to the prayer garden, you can think of this maybe as a, a model for you uh, to pray. A, a nice spot, a, a quiet spot uh, where you can be alone with the Lord. Maybe it's a place where you can sit out in your garden or uh, sit in your home and be quiet and be still. You might want to have uh, several scripture texts uh, placed uh, around uh, the spot where you were praying just to guide and direct your thoughts. Because prayer is not just about calming the soul or having some type of experience. It's about speaking with our creator, our sustainer, and the one who sent his son for us, and that being our savior. I hope you'll take some time to pray today. There's so many things to pray about in this time of lockdown. Pray for wisdom for our leaders who have to make some difficult decisions, well beyond what uh, human beings uh, can do in their own mind and in their own thoughts. Pray for your family. Pray for protection for each one. Pray for guidance and direction for those who are struggling with um, their jobs or struggling with finances. Pray for wisdom and guidance as we look to the future as a nation and also as a world. And please take some time to remember those who are poor or who are weak or who are infirmed. They need our prayers very much. Then take the time of prayer and close it as we do each Sunday here at the church with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. As we close our prayers in this way, it places all of uh, what we've said to our Heavenly Father in good perspective. His will, His kingdom, holiness, 
daily provision, forgiveness. These are very, very good things to pray about. Well, thank you for joining me for this uh, devotional out in our prayer garden. I do hope that you find a good spot where you can pray today. Make it a choice to commune with our Heavenly Father today, and I'm sure you will be blessed. We're thinking of you and praying for you at the church. May God bless you.